Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of Plex MC Prison. Guys, we are back on Plex MC, obviously. And yeah, here, guys, we're, we're back at my cell. And uh, you may note, well, actually, first of all, I just want to say, uh, I just got out of the shower like 30 minutes ago. So basically, my hair is kind of just very much all over the place. It's kind of just, uh, yeah, it's flopping all around. So it's probably going to drip down a bit in this episode. I don't have my hat next to me like I usually do. I left it at my mom's house. And I'm at my dad's house right now. So you're going to have to deal with some messy hair in this episode. So I'm sorry about that. You might enjoy that. I don't know. But yes, back to the content of the actual game itself here. Uh, you might notice my cell looks a little bit dry right here. And that is because I actually don't have anything in any of my chests currently. And that is because I did move everything except for this little chest right here. I'll get to this uh, later in the episode. Remember when I set up this donate chest uh, in the last episode? Well, you guys actually donated me some really cool stuff. I will show this off later in the video. But for now, I'm just going to keep it here. But the reason why I moved everything out uh, over here to this little section, this is basically all of my stuff right here. I, oh, by the way, by the way, I mean, you may notice I have a ton of gold ore and lapis and redstone. And guys, look, look at this right here. Dude. Look at this. Yeah, dude, we have tons and tons of diamonds. Guys, I did a ton of off-camera mining uh, in the Hustler mine, obviously. That's how I got so much redstone, lapis, and obviously all these diamonds, dude. I mean, I, just, I mined in there. Um, it wasn't too, too long. I I've, Honestly, I have no idea how long I mined. I just kind of turned on some music and started mining. So we got tons and st like, tons of stuff to sell, and I have some plans for all these diamonds in this video. So stay tuned for that as well. But yeah, I moved everything over here because... You know, like I said in the previous episode, guys, we're in E1 right now, right? But we don't want to stay in E1, dude. We want to rank up to the D ward. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this episode in a little bit. But that's why I did move everything into this cell. Because when I do upgrade to um, the D ward, uh, basically, like, my cell goes away. So I don't want to lose all my stuff. So right before I rank up, I'm going to want to destroy all this. I'll just grab an axe or something and just chop all this down. And that'll be the point in time when I show off what's in this little bad boy. Okay, uh, actually, you know, what? I can actually show this right now because I might as well just start tearing this up because we're gonna be going to um, the D mine. So let me grab an axe real quick. Let me, let me go ahead and get my uh, my axe here. Boom, there it is. Okay, and let's go ahead and start shopping this thing up because, uh, uh, dude, our cell is gonna be gone, dude. We want all these resources that we can possibly obtain. So. Yeah, I did like this cell layout. I'll probably do something different, though, when I do set my cell up later in this video. Uh, and I do have some shop plans as well. I know I uh, wanted to do that in the last episode. Um, so we're going to set that up this episode because we didn't get the chance last time. So, yeah, that'll be all good. And, yeah, let's go ahead and just break the rest of these chests right here. And are these guys going to fall down? Well, what's up with you guys? Okay. And now, guys, remember this donate chest? Yeah, I set this up in the last episode. And, guys, you donated some pretty cool stuff, guys. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Well, first, I, I just want to mention I will be only using uh, one item out of all of this stuff um, because that's the rule I made for myself. Because if you donate, uh, if you guys donate, like, OP stuff, I don't want to, you know, have access to all that and just make the series a bit rushed. I want to just, you know, take my... My time and just use one of these items so guys let's take a look and see what you guys donated here we go here we go boom dude we we got some stuff to choose from here all right the highlights are obviously not the rotten flesh or any of this zombie armor i, I mean i still appreciate the donations guys thank you very much i do appreciate it um but we, obviously we got some quartz and uh, the biggest thing i see are the pickaxe and the sword now this pickaxe is a silk touch maxed out pickaxe and i do not have one of those i don't think i'm pretty sure i don't let me check and make sure i don't have one of those i'm pretty sure yeah, I just have fortune. So we do not have silk touch, but I do want to do some really cool things with um, some ores and stuff, like with shops and everything like that. So I will definitely most likely choose this item. Obviously, we have some god apples here. Um, somebody probably donated me like five of these. Thank you so much, whoever did. That's really nice of you. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and probably not choose those. I'll probably choose those on a day that I do some PvP. But uh, we also, the one other thing that looks really good is the sword. Dude, this is a pretty decent sword. We have sharp four, unbreaking three, knockback one, fire two, and looting one. Uh, it would be a lot better if it was looting three, but we don't really need a great sword right now. Uh, we are probably going to choose the Silk Touch Maxed Out Pickaxe. So that's the item I'm going to take. I'm going to go ahead and transfer this over to my main chest right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the rest of this chest in... Uh, 
I'm just gonna grab all this here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the rest of this in this chest for now so I just know I can separate it and everything like that. And yeah, I'll definitely choose an item next episode as well. I like this emerald block, by the way. Your favorite fan, dude. I love whoever typed that up, dude. Whoever typed that up, dude. Mm, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put this axe away. Now, one other thing I wanted to do was roll this voting key this episode, but I'm, I'm deciding I don't want to do that. I'll probably um, get another voting key and do two the next episode because we have a lot, to, like, a lot planned this episode. So let me go ahead and fix my hair real quick so I don't look absolutely dumb. But yeah, uh, we're probably just going to save this for next episode uh, we're gonna skip that so the thing I want to mention here is um, yeah what is up with my money count dude do you, do you see that look 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 at my money count dude I only have fifteen hundred dollars like what is that about dude like I had like 1.5 mil last episode oh, I just literally closed my game okay I, I, I hope we're good hold on I gotta make sure that OBS is still recording okay, I think I think we're all good I think yeah, we should be all kidding, dude. That was, that was bad. I hit my Windows key, and that was bad. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I only have $1,500, dude. What is that about? Well, guys, uh, as a matter of fact, I found a pretty killer deal on emeralds, dude. Look at this chest, dude. Yeah, we got tons and tons of emerald blocks, dude. I got a great deal on these emeralds. Let me look and see how much I bought them for. I bought them from, ah, oh, I forget the name. I'll have to find the name for you guys uh, at some point. But he was selling them for, uh, what was it? Yeah, I, I bought them for $472 per emerald. And I can sell all these. Like, for example, the C3 shop, these sell for $760 per emerald. So that's like a $300 or so difference in price. So, dude, I'm going to make so much money off of these with the C3 shop. And that's the next thing I want to get into, guys. That is what we're going to be doing in this episode. We're going to go ahead and take all these emeralds right here. And also a few of my diamonds that I did mine. I did my, you know, all, all this off camera, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and take probably this much. Uh, I have done the C3 shop before, like in a different series. And I, I know uh, it was in the MISC series, by the way. Um, but yeah, I, I know about how much I can sell. Uh, I think it's like 10 stacks or so in the given time uh, of the C3 shop. So we're just going to go ahead and probably do this uh, for the inventory arrangement here. But let's go ahead and make our way to slash spawn here. And we are going to go to the three or the C3 shop and make some absolute bank. Uh, like I said, I blew like 1.5 million to buy all these blocks. But we're going to get our money back here, dudes. We're going to definitely get our money back. So let's go ahead and make our way over to this. This guy right here, the Mr. Commissionary dude. How are you today, sir? Okay, so the C1 ticket, which is this shop right here, obviously, and these emeralds are selling for $450 a piece. So if I sold my emeralds here, I would not make any profit whatsoever. So we don't want to buy that one. C2, I'm not sure the emerald price on that. I'll check actually when I go back to C3. But let's go ahead and get this C3 ticket here. Bam! Dude, 500 tickets down the drain. We actually had like 3,200 tickets going into this purchase. So yeah, we still have plenty of tickets to buy more of these. So we are all good here. But yeah, let's see how much the emerald cost is for C2. I'm actually curious. 540? Okay. So I would make profit if I did sell them here. But dude, C3 is definitely the way to go, dude. Look at this difference. So like that one was 540. This one is 720, dude. That's like $180 more per emerald so dude, we're, we're gonna go ahead and do this here so basically how this works is once I click this sign right here with my ticket I am basically in this commissionary thing for like two minutes I think it is I'm not exactly sure how much time I get but basically I just have a certain amount of time to sell as much crap as I can and that's why I brought a ton of stuff to sell let's do it ready set go all right we're in dude we're in this commissionary dude, and we're just gonna sit here and literally just sell all these emerald blocks now obviously we're gonna sell some diamond blocks as well those sell for a very good price it's thirty two hundred and forty dollars per block on the diamonds so we're gonna make some big Big money from that too but look at my money dude i'm already at five hundred thousand, and i don't know how much time we have left there's no timer or anything i think it might be three minutes i have in here i'm not sure so we're just gonna sell as many things as we can and right when i run out of emerald blocks to sell uh, i want to immediately switch to the diamond blocks so i can get the most out of my time here in the c3 uh and yeah dude so we're just we're absolutely we're like legit making so much money right now. We're already at 1.3 million. Oh, is somebody else in here with me? Dude, Freaky Frog is in here. I'm actually, wait, oh, uh, okay, make sure I'm selling. Okay, I'm actually vanished right now, so he can't actually see me. But uh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, using this guy's cell here, or his. he has a shop set up that I'm gonna show you guys here in a bit uh, in this episode that I'm gonna definitely be using. Uh, it's definitely, it's for gold. 
All right, it's for gold. So, you know, all that gold ore I had. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, I'm about to run out of emerald blocks. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, we got to make the transition here. And bam. Okay, let's go ahead and boom. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we're selling all the stuff. Dude, we're at 2.3 million. Okay, come on. Keep selling stuff, Bumpy. Keep selling stuff. Okay, I should be all good here. Um, I'm continuing to sell pretty quickly. Dude, we are making bank, dude. I had 1.4 million, I think, when I bought all the emerald blocks. And I, I don't know how much I made just from the emeralds. I think it was around two million. Hey, bro, you're getting in my hey, 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 you're getting in my way, bro. What are you doing? Why do you have to hog the thing, brother? Hey, don't do that, freaky frog. I know you can't see me. I'm just messing with you, dude. I probably lost out on a few thousand dollars there, but it's okay. Uh, we we have plenty of tickets. We'll be all good. I just want to sell as much of this as possible. Hopefully, we can get to like three million here before we're out of here, dude. That would be sick. That'd be absolutely really sick. Uh, I think he's out of stuff to sell. Oh, no, he's selling gold. Yeah, so th that's what I'm talking about, dude. Oh, oh, okay, we're done, dude. Okay, time is up, and we still have a decent amount of diamonds left. Okay, yeah, I figured we'd have about four stacks left when uh, when we're done with this. And, yeah, I was about there. So, yeah, we just sold all that and literally nearly got $3 million. I spent $1.4 million to buy all those emeralds, and I manually mined all those diamonds. So when I go in there the next time, I'll probably just want to have all emerald blocks, preferably because that's the way to go, dude. Selling emerald blocks in C3, that is definitely the way to make cash, dude. So we're up to $3 million now, which is fantastic. Well, actually, no, we're, we're just short. And uh, let me get this hopper real quick. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, use this silk touch pickaxe here to mine up this hopper. Oh, there was stuff in the hopper, too. Oh, okay, well, sick. Uh, that's pretty trash. Not going to lie, whoever put that stuff in there. Yeah, it's not that great. Uh, I'm sorry, bud, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get oh, lag. Uh-oh, this ain't good. Oh, okay, we're good. We're Okay, all right, we're all set here. Uh, let's just go ahead. Oh, we don't have enough room. Uh, well, we'll just put this stuff in there, and then we'll put the pickaxe back in there, and we'll put the diamonds in here for now. Um, but yeah, so basically, like I was saying, uh, with that freaky frog dude who was selling the gold, uh, yeah, we have a ton of gold ore. Like I said, or like I uh, mentioned before, uh, from all that mining, in the Hustler mine, dude, I accumulated quite a bit of gold ore. So what we're going to do is we're going to take as much of this as possible, and we'll come back to get the rest as well. But let's go ahead and head over um, down here to Freaky Frog Cell. It's one of these over here. Um, let's see. That's not it. Uh, that's not it. Is it? Oh, yeah. It's over there. It's over there right here. Um, yeah, Freaky Frog, dude. He has a nice shop set up, dude. He's... Uh, yeah, so basically, we, we can sell emerald blocks here. We can sell diamond blocks, gold blocks. But this is what I'm looking for, dude. The gold ore. Dude, look at that. 64 gold ore for 11,200. That comes down to 175 per gold ore, which is really good. I can sell, like, gold ingots in the regular shop. Like, the, not, not the commissionary shops, but the regular shop for, like, 100. And that's gold ingots. But this is literally gold ore. I literally just got this while trying to get diamonds. Dude, this is, like, free money, dude. Let's go ahead and get as much money as we can here. Let's go ahead and start selling, dude. Let's go. Dude, yes, we're making bank. Oh, yes, thank you so much, Freaky Frog. Oh, dude, this is perfect. Dude, hopefully he, uh, oh, okay, you don't, oh, I don't have enough items. Oh, we're already out of items. Let's go ahead and go back home right here. And uh, let's go ahead and go back to our gold chest and get all this. And we actually have some gold blocks. Do I want to keep those? I think I'm going to keep those for probably god apples. I'll probably keep those. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep those for now. But let's go ahead and head back to Freaky Frog Shop and finish off this gold ore, dude. Like, we literally... We already made, like, 450000 from just selling all this gold ore. What the heck? We started at, like, almost... Yeah, almost um, three million. So yeah, we made about four hundred and fifty thousand from all of that gold ore, dude. That's actually insane. Like that's literally like great money for just gold ore. We have some more left. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Four hundred and fifty thousand was literally made just from that, dude. So whenever I get gold ore, I'll just go here. Hopefully he, em hopefully he uh, empties out his shop so we can go ahead and sell more of this. But dude, that was that was a sick deal. I'm so glad I came here to sell that because that's great. And uh, yeah, now uh, no, we don't want to go to spawn. Let's go back home. What is next on the to-do list? We sold that. And yeah, guys, the next thing on my list is to rank up to the D ward. So that's exciting stuff, guys. So we have been in E ward this whole time. We have been trapped in this mine area. Luckily, I've had access to the Hustler mine. So I've been able to mine there and get some money a lot faster, get some resources a lot faster. And oh, wait, I need to check and see what the time is on this video. Hold up one second. Uh, okay, all right. So it's already 15 minutes uh, in so we gotta we, we gotta rank up here and uh, as you can see my cell is empty so I have prepared for this so like every time you rank up to a new letter so like I'm in E currently if I go up to D once I rank up to D 
uh, I lose my cell. I lose my entire cell with everything in it. So that's why I moved everything out into here. I think I already mentioned that, but I just wanted to restate that. Um, so yeah, that's why everything is in here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to spawn here, dudes. We're gonna head to spawn. And it's, it's time, dude. It's time to get out of the E ward and go to the D ward. And we're going to explore that and just have a great time, dude. Let's go ahead and uh, let's unvanish ourselves here. Uh, there we go. You dudes ready, dude? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, dude. Hopefully somebody responds. It'll make me feel so, so warm and fuzzy. Come on. Somebody say yes. Just somebody say yes. Oh, there we go. Dude, yes, Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude, that was the reference I was going for. Let's do it, man. There we go. We are in D4. <laughs> let's get it. And now we're actually going to go all the way up to D1 because we have plenty of money to do so. So let's go ahead and keep spamming this to get up to D1 so we have access. Uh, actually, we already have access to the haste and the speed, but we just want to get up to D1 uh, just because why the heck not, dude? So we're up in D1. Let's go. And uh, what's my bell? About three mil. There we go, dude. All right, let's go ahead and head back. We actually don't have our home anymore because our cell uh, was just um, terminated, basically, because we went up to, uh, uh, what, what, what's it called? We went up to D. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm having a big brain fart here, but yeah, we went up to D. Uh, now, obviously, I have enough money to go up to C. I mean, obviously. But, um, you know, we're just going to chill in D for now. And um, we're, we're gonna explore it. We're gonna get. We're, we're gonna do the quest next episode. But we want to take this slow and steady. We're gonna save my money for now. I got some big plans with a shop that I want to set up later in this video. So let's go ahead and uh, get all of our stuff gathered up here. We'll probably just keep most of it. Should we get the same cell? I could get this cell, or or I could get the bottom cell and be just that much cooler, dude. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this bottom cell, dude. Let's get the bottom cell, and boom. There it is, dude. And let's go ahead and extend this for three days. Oh, yeah, and Freaky Frog saying, LOL, nearly one double of gold or XD. Thanks for the shop, man. Oh, I can't even tie it with a heart, dude. There we go. Boom. All right, so we extended this for three days. We have this till the 15th of July, and it's actually almost one in the morning right now, so fun fact. And, yeah, let's go ahead and get our stuff from up here in my alts account. And, yeah, what should we start off with here? Should we start off with this stuff? Um, hmm. 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 <laughs> Hmm, I guess we'll go ahead and start with the wood stuff because we need to set up chests and everything. So let's get all the wood. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get that. And we'll get all the chests right here and wood and item frames. Sick. Uh, I have not. I'm actually recording at the moment. We can talk after. Okay, yeah, there we go. I don't, I just don't, I want to, I want to be able to finish out this episode before I chat with my fellow inmates here back in the prison days, dude. We got to chat with all our inmates, uh, but yes, uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, we'll get the diamonds in a second. We do, we still have tons of diamonds left to sell in that C3 ward, so, yeah, we got some stuff to move here. Let's go ahead and, uh, we'll come back. Let's just go ahead and set up our nice little cell here. Now, I didn't actually prepare for a cell, um, design, so I, this will probably be temporary, but I definitely want to have... Um, some space for shops. That's the big thing I really want. So let's go ahead. What we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, I'm thinking, let's go ahead and do chests right here. Let's do all chests like this. This will all be the shop space, dude. Yes, right there. This is gonna be the wall of shops that I'll, I'll probably just set up a couple. Uh, on camera because shops can be kind of tedious to work with at, at times and uh, we'll probably set up a few on camera and then I'll probably set up the rest off camera but yeah this will basically be really good and the reason why I'm not getting a sell in D Ward is because D Ward is probably not gonna have any uh, any action at all like most of the cells that people want are in E but we will explore all that in this episode I just wanna I wanna get something basic here set up for my stuff uh, and yeah, now that we have that set up, I need a crafting bench. So the crafting table, I guess we can put the crafting table right there. And then we got some furnace action going. Uh, oh, actually, I don't want to put furnaces right there, do I? Probably not. Oh, right here. Yeah, furnaces can go right there. That's fine. And yeah, this will probably be all temporary. Not gonna lie. Uh, but let's. Uh, no, crafting tables can't go there either. Oh my gosh, I needed an axe, dude. I did not prepare. Uh, I did not prepare for this part of the video as much as I needed to, but hey, it's all good. Let's go ahead and just get our axe going. Let's just let's just make something temporary. So we got the, the wall of shop set up uh, right here, and let's go ahead and just place some temporary storage chests like that. 
and we'll, yeah, we'll put another chest there at some point. But let's just get all of our stuff moved into here. I'll do some organizing off camera for you guys so you don't have to watch me do that. Uh, actually, you, you know what? Yeah, th this will just be the basic cell layout. We'll move everything at a different point. Let's go ahead, though, and explore the D war. Because we just got up to D1, dude. Let's go ahead and see the new stuff we have basically gotten access to here. So we are in D, dude. Basically, we're going to make a right turn instead of a left turn. Uh, in jail now. So I do. Here we go. We're entering the D ward. We didn't have access to this before. Oh, and this is the shop to start off. Dude, I want to keep my hair straight, but it's kind of hard. It, it just wants to fall right in my face. It's not fun, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's go ahead and see the shop, though. Uh, looks pretty much the same. The only difference I see is I'm not sure about the redstone and lapis, but I do see a fishing rod here that we can buy. I think we need this for a quest. That is why we have access to buy a fishing rod. And other than that, though, it's pretty much the same. So pretty generic there. We can buy some steak for 36 bucks, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. All right. But anyway, we got this enchanter, dude. I saw him in the E ward as well. Pretty standard stuff. But, yes, dude, I remember this from back in the day, dude. Yes, we had this whole basketball court theme, dude. Oh, dude, like, this is so fun. Is there anything in these hoppers? There's redstone in the hoppers. Dude, we're taking that redstone. We're taking that redstone. What about this one? Okay, nothing in that one. Okay, it's all good, though. We got some free redstone, though, man. Free redstone. Oh, look at this mine, dude. Look at this mine. Okay, so we can uh, sell some stone and cobblestone right there. And, oh, we got, it looks like we got a quest right there. We'll check him out in a second. Okay. Okay. Do so. Okay. This mine, it appears it has iron, coal, lapis, and redstone. And that appears to be it. I'm pretty sure there's actually like one or two diamond doors hidden in this D mine, though. I'm pretty sure that's still the case because I actually did find, uh, if you guys don't remember, I did find a, um, a, uh, diamond, uh, a diamond door in the E mine. In like my very first episode or second episode or something like that. So, uh, D mine. Okay. Um, but yeah, so there's actually probably a few diamonds in here, but for the most part, it's lapis, redstone, iron, and coal. Nothing too fancy. We have access to all of that in the hustler mine. So, yeah. Um, so, um, uh, I'm recording at the moment. Give me a few. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out this guy though. Conductor, dude. Let's let's check him out. Oh, he wants uh, 32 rails, it appears. Okay, so I've started the quest. Um, okay, oh, I gotta get this on vid. Okay, okay, I'm on uh, my way. All right, dude, we got a we got a a detour or a delay in the plans of my video. All this planning, just going down the train. Hey, it's fine though. Let's see what's what's up in E, dude. What is up in E? What is what does Charlie want, dude? What does Charlie want? I was just planning to go ahead and explore the D ward. You guys probably already know what it looks like, but yeah, I just want to check it out and show you guys what the D ward is like. But this man seems to have something important for me, so I okay. I mean, I'm fine with it, dude. What's up, man? What's up? Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just follow you. Okay, all right, I'm fine with that, dude. I'm fine with that. I'll I'll follow you, man. I'll follow you. What do you want, dude? What do you want, huh? What's up, Charlie? What's up? What's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> that's that's actually funny dude i love the skin man i like the skin that that, that that's that, wow that that that's just great that's that's great <laughs> oh dude uh i'm leaving that in for sure dude that that is good quality content there mr balji uh that you guys are funny dude i mean i guess it's masterminds you guys uh, are probably sick of mining by now. So you, you <laughs> uh, by, by the way, guys, this is a stick. No, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. We're, we're, we're getting out of here, dude. We're vacating the area for sure. Okay, let, let's go back to the D board where it's a, where it's a little more safe uh, from those those clowns. Dude. Oh, we're getting like 40 FPS. Okay, what is going on? What is going on? Okay, we're good now. Um, so yeah, we just checked out the mine. Dude, those guys are so funny. Oh, we actually got a quest right here. I didn't even see this guy. Let's go ahead and go into vanish mode real quick. Uh, Shanky boy. Okay. Uh, find Shanky's girl. Oh, okay. Okay. I remember this. These are like the, um, the tiered quests or something like that. So we have to like do one quest to unlock another quest. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. And actually, these are the cells for D-Ward. Like I said, nobody has a cell in here because it's pretty basic stuff. So, yeah, we're, that's why I didn't want to get a cell in here because I'd be all lonely. And I don't want to be lonely, dude. There's other levels to these as well. Oh, wait. Somebody actually does have a cell in here, dude. What? Oh, and I, 
I was like, dude, do I have access to this cell? Dude, that would have been so funny. Uh, okay, okay, I see you, Mr. Magi Miner. All right, I see you, man. But yeah, these are the cells. Not many people, you know, want to set up shop here. So that's why I wanted to stick in the E ward. But yeah, I think Shanky's girl is actually over here. The second part of that quest that we just started here. So uh, we have to find Shanky's girl. Well, I, I just found Shanky's girl. I got $4,500 for that? What? I literally just walked like 100 blocks and I just earned $5,000. Dude, that's great. That is fantastic. I'll take it, dude. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. But hey, yeah, these are basically all um, just cells. Uh, once more, uh, like I said, not going to be getting a sell in here just because of the fact that I don't want to be lonely. That's not fun, man. That's not fun. But let's go ahead and make our way over here. So we also have this person right here, Mia Stoner. Uh, fetch me 64 leaves. Well, I assume since there's trees right here, we can just grab some shears at some point and just give her leaves. But yeah, we're not doing quests in this episode. I'm just kind of touring the D-word, seeing what's up here. We also have this man. Uh, Stanky James, how are you, man? Fetch me six raw fish. No way, dude. That takes tons of time. I'll probably do that next episode at some point, or probably off camera, actually. Fishing is pretty boring in Minecraft. So, yeah, I'll do that off camera, and we'll get some money for that. But, yeah, that is, uh, what's his name again? Stanky James, dude. Stanky James. Okay. Cool stuff, cool stuff. And basically back here, there's not too much more. There's just more cells that way, it looks like. What's this? Uh, owner. Nexus's house, dude. Oh, this is the owner, man. What the heck? Brodo half, Nexus half, oh, okay, uh, cool stuff, there's not much in here, but hey, I mean, you know, cool, I'm just gonna leave this thing, alright, hey, I'm, okay, cool, um, yeah, but other than that, I think that pretty much does it for the D ward, it's mostly, there's a ton of cells, cause, uh, back on Titan MC, dude, there were tons of players, so they needed this cell space, but, uh, obviously, not as many people on here, just cause, for basic reasons, Sunday doesn't record on this server anymore, so, not many people, uh, are gonna be getting uh, sales in here, but that's okay, dude. That's okay. I still love the community on here, dude. It's a great community. I love it, man. But yeah, other than that, dude, I think we just have to check out the animal farm and see if that's functionable. And uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, this animal farm here. What do we got? What do we got? I remember this from. Oh, oh. See, I was right. I was right. There is diamond ore right there, dude. I'm a beast. I am a beast. I I knew there was diamond ore hidden in there. I am sick. Okay, so this was where the old animal farm used to be. But it appears that there's no animal farm, which is fine, dude. I wouldn't even use it anyway. Slash eat for the win, dude. For the win. But yeah, other than that, that is literally all of D-Ward. So we'll have some quests to do next episode. But uh, like I said, guys, I did want to explore D-Ward and then uh, set up shops in my cell. So let's go ahead and do slash home. We pretty much explored the D-Ward. And, uh, dude, we're back at home. Yes, we're on the first floor now, dude. I'm chilling. I am an absolute homie, dude. I'm ch I'm just, I'm chilling on the first floor now, dude. I'm, I'm one of the cool kids, dude. I'm one of the cool kids on the first level. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. So, like I said, so we moved all this stuff here. Now, I do have two shops that I want to set up in this video. I'll probably set up some other shops off camera. But for now, what I want to do, because we are kind of running out of time here for uh, fun and games. So, I'll move all of this into my cell off camera as well. But uh, what I want to do, are there signs in here? Oh, wait, I moved all my signs down here. I'm a silly goose, dude. Where is my signs? Uh, right here. Okay, so yeah, we uh, have two shops that we want to set up here uh, with this chest in particular. So what we're going to do here is, oh, should we make it eye level? I think we should make it eye level for sure. Let's do it. All right, so basically I need to like view this at the same time. So what we need to do to set up this shop is we're going to be dealing with emeralds here. And what I want to do is actually buy emeralds from people so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and do shop we're gonna do that let's see what else we need to do uh let's do a one here let's do 5040 and we're buying this sucker okay so let's go ahead and enter that or done okay and then we'll left click this open inventory so this is basically how you set up shops guys if you are wondering uh there's actually a whole tutorial about this uh like at the front of eward where you can see how to set this up, that's that's basically what I did. I'm just looking off a, a cheat sheet that I have right next to me. But yeah, basically, we're dealing with emerald blocks here. That's what we want to buy from people. So I am selecting the emerald block here. To uh, Oh, and then I have to like throw it out, I think. Yeah, okay, so I have created this shop that buys emerald blocks. So basically, when people walk in, they're going to be like, hmm, okay, so I can sell this man one emerald block for $5,040. Now, one emerald block translates to if I do 5,040 divided by 9, because there's 9 emeralds in a block, obviously, that translates to 560 per emerald. So basically, 
I will give people $560 for one emerald, which is a decent deal. Uh, it's not the best deal, obviously, because in the C in the C3 shop, you can uh, sell these and um, 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 what was that? I lost my train of thought. Yeah, you can sell these for like 720 per emerald, but you still have to pay for that C3 ticket. So I'm hoping that people, you know what? Hmm. Should I do it for more? I'm feeling generous. Dude. I feel like I should do this for a lot more and give people a great deal, dude. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sell. We're gonna buy emeralds for 600 a piece, dude. Let's do 600 times nine. So that's 5400. Uh, let's go ahead and break this, dude. We're gonna reset this up. Let's do uh, shop, dude. We're gonna give people a great deal, guys. Come on over. Let's go ahead and do one. Um, what do we need here? Oh yeah, so 5,400 and then we are buying. And then obviously we have to do this whole thing where we click this and then we open this up and then we type in what we need here. We need emerald block and then throw that out and boom, there we go. So basically we are buying emeralds or we're buying emerald blocks from people for 5,400 a piece, which translates to 600 per emerald. Um, obviously, since I'm buying them for more money, I'm not gonna make as much money when I do sell them in the C3 shop, but uh, I wanna give people a good deal. There's not, like, I wanna give the people on the server great deals so I can make a profit, they can make a profit, we can all just have a good time. So yeah, let's go ahead and make a secondary sign here though for a shop, obviously. And we need a bracket. There we go. And let's do 64. And then we're going to do, uh, we don't need to type that yet. We need, okay, so yeah, we need to take this 5400 times 64. And that is, oh my gosh, $345,600. Okay, so basically what we're doing here is I'm making it easier for people, uh, I'm making it easier for people to sell emeralds. Uh, or to, uh, yeah, sell emeralds to me, basically. So just, uh, this, oh my gosh, I just closed out of my Minecraft. Okay, here we go, we're back. And yeah, the last thing we need to do is just type in buying. And yeah, this will make it a lot easier for people to buy emeralds from me. And yeah, I think that's a great convenience factor thing there. And bam, okay, we have this perfectly set up. So if I take three, four, five, six hundred divided by 64, we get 5,400, which is that sign right there. That is perfect. So now people will sell me emeralds. Hopefully, sell me, uh, they, okay, hopefully people will just sell me emeralds for money. Okay, I have $3 million to, to sell or to work with here, so hopefully we can get some nice emerald blocks and do something with those in a future episode. So yeah, that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take all my stuff and move it here. Uh, off camera and I'll probably set up some more uh, of the same exact shop on these two as well so I can you know store some more blocks and um, yeah so that's pretty much gonna be it for this episode guys we did make quite a bit of money we started off with a uh, $1,500 and now we have uh, how much we have almost 3 million we're literally like 60k off of 3 million dollars so we're doing pretty darn good and I'm liking the position we're in right now hopefully you guys did enjoy and if you did make sure to smash that like uh, make sure to smash the like button so I can learn how to speak and hopefully learn some more English yeah uh, but yeah also drop some comments down below telling me any suggestions you might have for the series and just any anything supportive I always love reading your guys' comments so make sure to do that as well and other than that guys that pretty much wraps it up so I will talk to every one of you or all of you I can't speak the words I will talk to you all later guys I and, and yeah see you guys peace out